and we back. Three weeks out, baby, let's get it. It's Saturday, August. I don't know what day it is. It's August 3rd, August 3rd. We're 21 days from the show, three weeks out to the day. Let's get it. We're gonna take y'all through day in the life. About to do a quick little posing session. Then we'll eat some breakfast and we're gonna switch it up today. Instead of walking on the treadmill today, we're actually gonna go for a ride. So if anybody knows, I did an Ironman, Pete the Hat. We are going for a ride with a few friends and my mom. So my mom's competing in a triathlon in about a month or so. So we're gonna go ride with them this morning. And that's what we're gonna do for our cardio workout today. And then later today we got legs. So we're gonna go do film a leg workout. And then got a little family game night tonight. Other than that, we're gonna see what we're gonna do. So y'all follow along. Y'all see what I'm doing three weeks out to the day. I'll show y'all some of my meals that I'm eating, things like that, how I'm feeling. We'll talk about the prep, how it's going. So yeah, y'all have a great day. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Let's go. All right, quick little physique check real quick. It's what we're looking at. It's what we're looking like three weeks out. too hard in my posing now if you want to leave a critique drop a comment down below what can I do better to my to my posing because I could really use all the help I can get but yeah this is what we're rocking with so far some pointers I'd appreciate it so let's go get some breakfast all right so for meal one of the day normally I'd have like my breakfast pre-workout meal because I work out first thing in the morning but today I'm not working out first I'm going to do cardio first so I'm actually eating, eating my first meal prep first for meal one we got to save the pre-workout meal obviously for pre-workout so that'd be like my cream of rice and stuff we'll eat that then but yeah so we're eating literally beef and broccoli for meal number one for breakfast it's currently 5.03 a.m. and I'm eating beef and broccoli. Hey, gotta do what you gotta do. And just in case y'all are wondering, this is my bike, my triathlon bike that I use. So I did Ironman Florida. This is the bike I rode. I'm about to take it for a spin. You gotta use these special little shoes that go on my clips. Look at this clip. It ain't like a normal bike. But yeah, I'm gonna go knock out about a probably hour and a half or so with the with my mom and a few front buddies that I train with. So yeah, that's the bike. Just get y'all wonder. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all what I've been doing the past few days. I saw somebody do this in a video because I've been watching a lot of bodybuilding videos lately on YouTube, which y'all know YouTube's my thing. But I saw him he put mustard on his thing, so I was like, that's a good idea. I'm not really a huge like mustard fan. But when you don't pro, go try anything. So the past like two days, I've been doing this, and it's actually really good. I know what y'all thinking, bro. Like, 
You finna put mustard on that? That ain't no good. But I'm telling you, beef, broccoli, you just fill that bad boy up with some mustard. I also got this little hot sauce. Mustard and hot sauce, it's pretty good. Dude, I'm telling you, when you on prep, you'll do anything to make your food taste good. Dude, I've, been, I've been eating some weird stuff, stuff that I would never normally eat, but since I've been on prep, it's been really good. And almost just like mustard and ketchup. It's actually pretty good, so yeah. I know it sounds weird, and some of you may be mustard people. It may sound good to you. It is good. Don't knock it till you try. Honestly, at this point, I think anything I eat is tastes good because I'm so like food deprived. You know, not really food deprived. I eat plenty of food. Just I do a lot of cardio, so like I burn through it very easy. And I'm probably on like 1,800 to 2,000 calories somewhere around there. And I'm used to eating like 4,000 calories in a day. So it's uh, definitely an adjustment for my body. That's pretty good. Beware of your neighbor. Don't even trust your brother or brother. They're themselves out with all their sinning. They pile lie upon lie and utter... Just under an hour. We're gonna eat meal two. Oh no, I gotta put some more water in this. So we got 40 grams of carbs from cream of rice. And I also mixed my protein powder in here with it. I got peanut butter flavor protein powder. So it actually makes it like peanut butter flavor. Put a little salt in here. And I'm going to, I got 100 grams of strawberries. I'm gonna throw a little bit of this syrup in there. It's too sugar-free syrup. And there's a couple different ways you can make this cream of rice, but lately I've been putting my protein powder in with it. But yeah, this is gonna be my pre-workout meal. We're gonna eat it, wait about 30 minutes to an hour. Then we're gonna go to the gym and knock out some legs. Not bad. Also, I like to put my strawberries in here. Eat it all together. Alright, so my coach has blessed me with another high day on Monday this week. So I'm having to shift some of my meals around a little bit. So we're re meal prepping. I have some left over from this past week, so we're gonna make Monday high day. So we gotta do a little meal prepping real quick. I need to pull out what meals I need. Four ounces of chicken. We're gonna wrap these up and then we're gonna head to the gym. All right, so we got Monday's high carb day done. I also have Sunday already done in the fridge. And I think I have enough. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and make Tuesday. Yeah, then that way we'll have to meal prep again like Tuesday this week. But yeah, meal prepping is a must when it comes to bodybuilding. Yeah, this is what's gonna get me through my workout today. Bang, it's cotton candy flavor. I hadn't had this flavor yet. It's pretty good. I wish it was a little colder. Normally, I take pre-workout to get me through my workouts. But lately, my pre-workout hadn't been hitting. I guess because I'm getting used to it or I don't know. So we're switching it up. We're trying something different. Hopefully, this gets me through leg day today. We'll see. We're going to finish doing a little bit of meal prep, drink this, then we're going to head to the gym. All right, we're about to head to the gym, knock out a quick leg day workout. See, I wish me some luck. I want to show y'all. So my mom has chickens at her house and she just hooked me up. So yeah, my mom hooked me up with some chickens. Not with some chickens, with some eggs. To be honest with you, I don't even know why they have chickens. Cause they don't even be eating eggs for real. They just give them all to me. But I ain't complaining, I'll take all the ones they wanna give me. And they're like, they're actually really good. They're, I guess you would say pasture raised eggs. I mean, they let them free roam in their, in their yard. So there's really good healthy eggs for you. I'll be eating them. They, they taste good too, for real. So. All 
All right, now. We made it to the gym. Stupid bright. Stairmaster that we done for the day. Hang a lot. Today was a pretty good workout. I had plenty of energy. That little bang drink got me through the workout. I actually really like that. I had a good day. It's probably because I had a high carb day yesterday. So I'm probably running off those carbs that I had. But all in all, good workout. Now we got 40 minutes. Let's do it. Hey buddy, the best part about coming home is this boy right here. He gets so excited. He gets so excited. That's a good boy. Oh, that's a good boy. All right, so we just made it back to the house from the workout. And honestly, that was a great workout. That was probably the best workout I've had in a really long time. And I think it's due to all the carbs that I had yesterday. So yesterday was a high carb day for me. And I started feeling better towards the end of the day yesterday. Um, so I felt pretty good, but t I think it rolled over until today. So we had a really good leg workout. Or either it was that bang energy drink that I had. I don't know what they put in there. Put a little crack in there or something. I don't know. But it got me through the day. Because recently my workouts, especially my leg workouts, have been really bad. But I'm actually very satisfied with that. Three weeks out from the show. So hey, feeling good right by now. I am dead now. I did do 40 minutes on the Stairmaster. So I'm a little dead. We about to get a post-workout meal. So it's another protein shake, but we're making it in the creamy. So y'all stay tuned to see how I do my creamies. Uh, it's absolute fire. If you're an ice cream fanatic, 
just go ahead and get you a creamy dude. It's 100% worth it. Go ahead and get it. And it's not gonna disappoint. But yeah, we finna whip it up. I'm gonna show you what I do and how I throw my little cereal on top for the top. Let's get it. So you take the frozen protein shake. All that's in here, all that's in here is one and a half scoops of protein powder, creatine, a little bit of stevia, and a little bit of splash of salt. And that's all I put in there. And then when, before I mix it up, I put a little water in there just to help it uh, mix up a little better. Yeah, you just toss it in here. I use the light ice cream setting. Fire. So when it's done, you just pop it off. And look at that. That has money. It's just, it's literally ice cream consistency. And it tastes so good. It literally tastes like ice cream. Actually, I put a little too much water in it, so it's kind of softer. But you can play around with the consistency. You can, if you want it uh, softer, put more liquid in it. Or if you want it a little thicker, more like ice cream, you can put less liquid in it. Or you use milk. I just use water. Normally, I would use milk, but I'm on a prep, so I can't use the milk. But you can still get that good consistency with water. And then what you do is I get 40 grams of carbs from cereal just for some quick digesting carbs. What I do is I'll take them, plop them right on top. Bro, it's like a milkshake. Just eat like that. It's like, a, it's like getting a blizzard from Dairy Queen or Sonic. Money. If you ain't got one, go ahead and get you a cream. It won't disappoint. All right, so we back with meal number four. That is not ketchup and mustard. It's mustard and a little bit of hot sauce on turkey, ground turkey, broccoli. And that's it. That's all we get. But hey, I'm starving, so we finna smack this. You already know we back at Wally World. Say what up to the vlog. Gang, gang. Gonna get groceries for the week, meal prep, and Bailey gonna get some pajamas because she's bougie. You gotta have pajamas. I ain't stay out of the big one. Gonna get two of these phones. Five three seven thing around me. We already got, trying, we're switching up this week, we're gonna try some different green beans, Brussels sprouts, asparagus, and then I had to get the stable broccoli. And both broccoli. We're gonna do some different greens this week. But still the same meat, ground beef, ground turkey, chicken. Keep it basic. That's where we're gonna be right here. We're getting a little bit less meat this week because I already got some left over from last week. So I need as much. And then, instead of getting three of these chickens like I normally do, I'm only gonna get two. We're getting closer to show day, so we're eating less food, unfortunately. So, that's all I need, greens, meat, so everything else I got at home. I think that's it. So since that bang did me well today, I'm gonna come back and get some more. I never tried this flavor. I'm gonna try this one. I wanna get some more of the bangs. The bangs, I think, work a little better, but I've already tried it. This flavor I don't like. I tried it, I don't care for it. I think I had one of these at home. That's what I had today, it worked really good. So we're gonna try something different. Let's see. We're gonna get another one of these. This one was pretty good. I like these little waters too. The blue raspberry, probably the best flavor. These are good to have, like just to sip on, keep them in the fridge, sip on carbonated water. One. Got a little assembly line chain going here. Once again, we just paid our mortgage at Walmart. It's a weekly thing at this point. Yeah, the phone didn't eat first in this one. Smoked meal number five. Um, 
chicken, broccoli, buffalo sauce. Walking my life away. Steps after steps after steps. Let's get it. 3,000 steps. Then we're done for the day. Gonna knock out one more meal. Then we're getting into bed because we gotta wake up and do it all over again in the morning. If you ain't got a truck meal at home, and you trying to do a bodybuilding prep, I'm telling you, man, go ahead and invest in a treadmill. It's going to save you a lot. Because you're going to be doing a lot of walking, a lot of steps, a lot of cardio. It's worth it. But yeah, I'm going to wrap up the video here. I got one more meal to eat. I was supposed to have it a long time ago, but we've been gone this this whole afternoon. We've been gone. So I got one more meal, the last meal. It's just going to be some ground beef and one whole egg. And that's it. That's my last meal of the day. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video. If you have not yet, go ahead and check out my week four Day in the life video, it'll be right here. Give it a click, give it a watch, and then come back and watch this one. But uh, other than that, tune in next week for two week out video. I'm gonna drop that next week. So yeah, we'll see y'all.